everyone, welcome to Aerobics Oz Style. It's another Pilates workout. So Helen and I will be taking you through your workout today. Just need to warm up a little bit first of all. And while you're marching and slowly warming your body up, I want to quickly read this letter. It's from Kerry Polk, and Kerry comes from Edith Creek in Tasmania. So hello to all the Taswegians out there. She's got a fantastic question, it's it. I was wondering what you consider better for somebody who just needs to tone up a bit. Low and high impact or muscle toning exercises? Which one do you need to do? The low and high impact exercise or the muscle toning? Guess what, Kerry? You need to do both. You need to do the low and high impact exercise to burn off the calories, all right? So you're burning off a little bit of body fat there. You're also toning your muscles a little bit at the same time. So the toning type exercises like we're doing in Pilates or the strength leg workouts or the ab workouts, they're going to give you the muscle. They're going to keep your metabolism working hard. They're going to give you that toned look. So you need both. Just keep working out with us regularly. Easy walks, guys. Step it out. Keep your knees soft. Push it through. Keep this going just for a moment. I'm going to lose this letter. I'll hide under my towel. That's it. Two more this side. And then you're going to take a tap change and take it over to your right leg. Right leg leading now, knee soft. Remember, the whole time you're working out, you're still thinking about your posture. So you're contracting through the abdominals. You've got your shoulder blades back and down, pumping strongly with the arms. Adding on a move now, march forward, march back. Here we go. Right leg forward and take that back. Try it again. Take bigger steps. Our scenery today is just beautiful, isn't it? Sydney Harbour is just a fantastic area. And we're actually down at the Garden Island Fleet Base. We're actually sort of, which is where they take all the boats, they fix the boats up down here. Are they called boats or ships? Oh, I get in trouble for that one all the time. All the Navy people will let me know soon. One more time, stepping out and go back to your easy walks on the right leg. Step forward and back. Sinking softly into your knees, keeping your chest high. Take four more of those, stepping out. Only two to go and then you're going to go to your tap change and lead with your left foot, easy walks. Left foot leading, step it out. Sink down into your legs. What a beautiful day. What's it like where you are around the world? People who are maybe watching us on Star TV, across Asia, or maybe on the Sky Network in Europe and Great Britain. What's it like where you are? Because right here in Sydney, Australia, it's a fantastic day. So I hope that you're enjoying your day. Better get moving. Come on. Two more. One more. March forward on your left foot now. Come on down. Forward and back. That's it. Just nice, easy marches. Two more times. Stepping up and back. One more time. Marching on the spot. Take a deep breath in. Lift up high. Breathing in and then exhale. Open all the way out. Keep that going. Now we're here, we're in the harbour. The air is fresh and clean. But if you're thinking of going out power walking or jogging in the middle of a great big city, like in London, all right, if you go out in the city, especially when all the cars are out and during peak time, you're putting yourself at risk. You really are out there breathing in all those pollutants. So try and get yourself into the parks, away from the streets, or even into a gym, which might be a better place for you to be than breathing in all the pollutant air. Otherwise, come down here with us on the harbour. All right, team, take your feet wider apart now. Soft into those knees. Four more times. That's four and three. Slow, deep breath in, stretch it up. And down. Breathe deeply and lower down. Two more. Stretch and lift. One last time. This time, take your right arm up. Take your left arm down and bend gently over to one side. Stretch across. And carefully release out of that one. Try the side, inhale up, exhale, reach, and relax. Both knees go out to the side, sitting down deeply, little tiny pulses, push out. Make sure your toes are turned out, your knees are going in the same direction as your toes. Eight more here. Press, seven, six, five, four, three. Rotating your left knee down, you're gonna lower that left knee down to the ground. A Little bit of a hip flexor stretch, pushing forward. Little tiny pulses, press through. And then lift up and change over to the other leg. One in, one out, leg forward, press through, and pulse it out. Guess what? Come to the end of this segment. All you'll do now is take your shoes off, sit down on the ground, and get ready for Helen to take you through a Pilates abdominal workout.
Like you spread a nice towel out, nice and thick, so you've got something to lean on and so your back can be comfortable. And then lie down. Separating the legs, so the ankles, the knees, the hips are in line. Placing your hands behind your head. We're focusing on the abdominals in this segment. Draw the navel down to the spine, tightening your abdominals. And as you breathe in, gently lift your head, dropping the chin to the chest, lengthening the neck. As you breathe out, curl forward, drawing the ribs towards the hips. Hold that position, abdominals firm, as you take a breath in. And then breathe out slowly back. And again, breathe in, lift the head, dropping the chin, lengthening the neck. Breathe out, curling forward, draw the ribs towards the hips. Holding that position, abdominals firm, breathe in. And breathe out slowly back again. One more, breathe in, lift the head, warming up the abdominals, and breathe out, curling forward, ribs to hips. Take a breath in, and breathe out slowly, rolling back. And now warming up the obliques, that's the muscles at the side of the tummy. Take a breath in again. As you breathe out, take the front shoulder towards the back knee, keep the hips and knees still, elbows open. Breathe in, return to the centre, staying as high as you can through the chest. And the other way, breathing out. And again, breathing in, return to the centre, stay high through the chest. Breathe out, keep the shoulders and the elbows open. Breathe in, return to the centre. And again, breathing out. Breathe in, return to the centre. One more each side, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. And breathing in. As you breathe out slowly back, keep the chin dropped slightly towards the chest, the neck long. Stretch your arms and legs out. This combination is called the coordination. You squeeze your inner thighs together, navel to spine, rib cage down, relax the shoulders, the arms. And as you breathe in, bend the knees, sliding your toes along the ground, keeping the natural curve in your back. Breathe out, curl forward, flattening the back, stretching the legs into the air. Open legs to shoulder width, breathing in. As you breathe out, you close the legs. Breathe in, toes in the ground, reaching forward with the fingertips, and breathe out, lengthen away. Let's go again. Breathe in, bend the knees. Breathe out, curl forward, flatten the back. As you breathe in, open the legs, shoulder width. Breathe out, close. Breathe on, toes on the ground, and lengthen back. If your back of the neck is getting tired, I'd like you to place your hands behind your head. And curling forward, so you can put the hands behind the head like this. You open legs to shoulder width and close, that protects the neck if it's getting sore. And back you go again, let's do two more of those. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, shoulder width apart, breathe out, close, breathe in, toes down, and lengthen back, one more. Breathe in, bend the knees, breathe out, curl forward, squeeze inner thighs together. Breathe in, open the legs to shoulder width only, breathe out, close, toes on the ground. Okay, now everyone place their hands behind your heads. Protecting the neck, keep the navel drawn to the spine and breathe in, slide the toes along the ground. Breathe out, curl forward, flattening the back, stretching the legs. Now we're going to stay up for 10. You open the legs out to the side, you close them and then bend the knees so you've got a nice degree angle at the hip and knee. And again, breathing out, open, close, breathe in, bend. Breathe out three. If you need to take a break, please do. Close and bend. Breathe out four. We've got 10 of these, open, close and bend. Breathe out five. Open, close, keep the chest up, and again six, elbows open. Close and bend. Seven, lengthen, close and bend. Eight, lengthen, close and bend. Two more, open, close and bend. One more, lengthen, open, close. Now toes in the ground. Stretch out, lengthening out the tummy muscles. Now for the third variation. As you breathe in, bend the knees, sliding the toes along the ground. As you breathe out, curl forward, flattening the back, stretching the legs, protect the neck if you need to. Open the front leg out to the side and close. And now open the back leg, focus on keeping the pelvis still and stable, close. And now both legs open, close, toes down, and lengthen back. And again, breathe in, bend. Breathe out forward. Breathe in as you open the front leg. Breathe out as you open the back leg. Breathe in as you open both legs. Breathe out, down, and lengthen back. Let's go again, breathe in. Breathe out, flatten the back, stretch the legs into the air. Open the front leg and close. Open the back leg and close. Both legs. Now remember, if it's getting a little hard, if you need to take a break, please do. And also protect the neck if the back of the neck's getting tired. And coming forward, open the front leg. And again, the back leg. Both legs, keep the chest nice and high. Toes down, you've got one more. Lengthen back, and again bend. Curl forward, breathing out. As you breathe in, you open the front leg and close. Breathe out, back leg and close. Breathe in both legs and close. Toes down, 
lengthen all the way back. Okay, staying there, stretching out the tummy. I'd like you to reach the front arm and the front leg away from you. Stretching out the front side of the abdominals. And now relax, let's do the back side. Lengthen and relax. Okay, we're going to a break and in the break we'll be coming back and working the sides of the tummy, that's your obliques. I'd like you to roll up those towels you just had underneath your back. You're going to lie down on your side for me and place a towel between the neck and shoulder. Now in this position, we're drawing the neck up slightly so you bring the neck into its neutral position. Now I'd like you to place your hands underneath the waist and lift your waist up off the ground so you've got a long line from the crown of the head through to the coccyx as your neutral spine. Top hand is down in front of the chest. Of course you draw the navel to the spine supporting the back and take a breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, you lift both legs, stretching them long out of the hips and breathe in coming down. Make sure the legs are just slightly in front of the hips, that's to protect the lower back. Breathe out two and breathe in, come down. And breathe out three, keep the underneath waist as you lift and lower and again down. And again, breathe out, lift four and breathe in, lower down. And again, breathe out, lift five, keep the top shoulder away from your ear and down. And again, breathe out, lift six, breathe in, lower down. Breathe out, lift seven, Breathe in, lower down. Breathe out, lift eight. We're focusing on the muscles of the waist and down. And again, nine and a little bit of the inner thigh. And down. And one more, 10. Okay, now watch closely for the next one. You lift the legs up, you turn the legs out so the heels are touching and the toes separate. You take the top leg back as far as you can without the hips moving, they must remain stacked. Then you bring the legs together, heels together, toes apart. You bring the legs back into a parallel position and you lower them down again. Let's add the breathing in. Breathe out, lift up. Breathe in, turn the legs out. As you breathe out, you take the top leg back, keeping the hips stacked. As you breathe in, you draw the legs together. Breathe out, return to parallel and breathe in down. Let's go again. Breathe out, lift three. Breathe in, turn out. Breathe out, top leg back. Breathe in, draw it forward. Breathe out together and down. We've got two more. Make sure the underneath waist stays lifted, always maintaining a neutral spine. Top leg back and together, parallel and one more. Lifting five. If you'd like to make this one harder, you can try the hand up in the air like so. You've got to work on your balance up there as well. Bring it together, parallel and down. Okay, now coming up into your elbow for an exercise called the side kick. The elbow goes directly underneath the shoulder. Feet are flexed, a foot and a half in front of the hips. In that position, I'd like you to drop down into your shoulder. That's bad posture. Now push into the elbow and lift the underneath waist, particularly just underneath the armpit, and try and hold it there. Lift the top leg up to hip height, and without the hips moving, you breathe in forward. Breathe out, point back. Keep this very still and stable. Breathing in, breathe out two. Now if you're a beginner, you need to keep this nice and small. And again, three. Breathing in, breathe out four. Breathing in, breathe out five. Breathing in, breathe out six. Breathing in, check that underneath waist, seven. Breathing in, breathe out eight. Keeping the top leg up at hip height. And nine, we've got one more to go. Holding the last one back there, keep the foot pointed. And think of lengthening the leg away from the hip, reaching out long. The top hand, stretch it forward, lengthening out of the shoulder joint. And now for the thigh, lift up one and down. Two, now check that elbow, you lift it high. Three, keeping the underneath waist firm. Four, maintaining that torso stability. Five, six, seven, eight, nearly there, nine, ten. Okay, the whole thing on the other side. Lying down again, the towel between the neck and shoulder. Legs are out, and again, you've got the legs just slightly in front of you protecting lower back and you have a neutral spine position. Breathe in to prepare. As you breathe out, lift both legs and breathe in down. Again, lengthen out of the hips, two, breathe in down. And again, three, breathing in. And again, four, breathing in. And again, five, reach out long and down. Six, and down. Seven, keep the underneath foot waist lifted. Eight, and down. Nine. Now remember how to make this harder if you'd like to. Up. Okay, now the second exercise. Take it slowly to begin with. Lift up. Heels together, toes to part as you separate. 
and take that top leg back, keep the hips still. Bring the legs together, parallel, and lower down. And again, two, have you got that neutral spine position? Take the top leg back, lengthening, bring it together, parallel, and down. Three more, lift up, turn out, lengthen, together, parallel. Okay, now adding in the breathing. Breathe out, lift, breathe in, turn out. Breathe out, stretch it long. Bring it together, parallel, and down. One more, breathe out, lift, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, top shoulder away from the ear, breathing down. Okay, now coming up onto the elbow for the side kick. The elbow goes directly underneath the shoulder, like so. Drop down, relax, and then push it up, keeping it strong and stable. We're gonna be finishing off with this one, going to a break, and the next break, be coming back, and working on a cool down with Wendy. For all the viewers at home who are wondering about Helen who is kind of crying her way through the last episode, when we're out here, we actually have really bright lights in our eyes and also the sunshine coming in our eyes. And so sometimes we do the exercises. Some of us, you might like, I tend to close my eyes just because the glare is so bright in your eyes sometimes. It's really hard to smile and not make those wrinkles on your face. And so Helen was being very brave and keeping her eyes open the whole time. But in the meantime, she was crying. It's because she loves it so much. She's so passionate about Pilates that she starts to cry. So in case you're wondering why we pull funny faces sometimes in Pilates, it's because Pilates hurts and so does the, the bright lights in our eyes, but we're doing our very best to keep smiling. Are you up here with me on your knees, stretching out your feet? You should be. This is where we are right now. So you're getting a nice little stretch to the top of your feet, tucking your pelvis under, keeping your stomach muscles in nice and tight. Take a deep breath and lift up high. Exhale and open your hands out to the side and take a huge stretch. Just stretching out through your chest. And try that again. Lift up high. And you lift your rib cage up and then open that back so we're stretching out the abdominals that have been working hard. Try one more time, inhale, lift up. Take it up just slightly backwards and then open that all the way back and around. Now what I need you to do is to take one hand out in front, stretch out through your wrist and your forearm. It's an area that gets a little bit tight sometimes. It's a good stretch to do. Try the other side, fingers up, pulling all the way back. The reverse of that stretch is to make a fist, curl under and grab the fist, pull through. And then try the other side. Make the fist, curl under, pull through. Squeezing over the top of your arm. Terrific, and while we're here, place your foot flat down beside your knee. Stretch out your Achilles tendon and your lower calf. We're just gonna do sort of a total body stretch right now. You'll be mostly focusing on working your abdominals and a little bit into your legs. I'll try and stretch everything. Change over and take the other side. So we're working our way up. We've done a little bit of upper body stretching, some lower body stretching. From here, I'd like you to place your hand on top of your knee. We're going to slowly stand up. So hand on the knee, very slowly standing up. Take your time coming all the way to the top. Feet wide apart. And then open your knees out to the side. So getting the groin and the inner thigh stretch. Sit down low. Drop one shoulder. Here we go. Chest, shoulder and back. Rotating through your spine. Push your knees right back. And then lift up. Take the other side. This is one of my favourite stretches. I really like this one. Knees back. Shoulder down, chest out, turn your head right over your shoulder. And then into the middle to do them both at the same time. Knees out, you can either place your hands on your knees or pop your elbows inside, sit down low and really work into your groin stretch and just hold that for a little while. All right, what I'd like you to do is to place your hands up on top of your knees, keeping low in the stance, lift your chest up. Take your arms out to the side and just hold that position. It's a little bit like yoga now, you're getting the contraction through the muscles while you're still sitting down deep in your stretch. Try and stay in that pose a little bit longer, chest up. Lift the chest, get the shoulders back and down, hold it for eight, seven, six, five, nearly there, four, three, two. Very slowly lifting up, breathe and lift, pushing up through the legs, squeezing the buttocks. And exhale, open. One more time, deep breath in, lift. Through your fingers, lifting high. And exhale, open that out and down. Okay, one hand comes up, stretch over to the side, looking over your knee. Take your fingertips as far away as you can. And then take that the other side, coming up. 
Left hand comes up, looking over your right shoulder. Keep your, right, your left shoulder back. Reach those left fingers out as far as you can. And then all the way back to the centre. Bring your feet in closer, look at my feet. Toe and heel, and toe and heel, and toe and heel. All the way back to the centre. Your arms come up. Take one down behind your head. Stretching now your back and your triceps. Change over to the other side. So even if you don't do any other part of the workout, whenever we do aerobic side style, we always finish with some stretching. And that can be beneficial for everybody. So you can always just join in this last section. Get your shoulder blades back and down. Lift your chest up. Pull your hands away from your body. So I'm actually lifting my hands away from the body on this particular stretch. The stretch is running through your chest, through your shoulders. Terrific. And relax the arms now. Just loosening off through your waist. This is a simple movement for anyone to do. You can be, you can be in the shops, you can be waiting in a bus queue, whatever. All you need to do is simple rotations. This is actually a warm-up stretch also for golf. So if you play golf, holding onto your golf club, very gently twisting side to side. You've got to make sure though that you're not holding your feet flat and your knees steady. You've actually got to lift your knee, lift the heel and let your hips rotate just a little bit. That way you'll be safe and you won't be hurting your knees. I'm going to leave you on this particular stretch. Just loosen off and relax and we'll see you for the very next Aerobics Oz Style. Bye for now.